like your hell cut. Hello friends, in this video, we will see some important probability sums. So our first question is, three sisters A, B, C often help their mother in kitchen and probability of breaking dishes 1 by 3, 1 by 2, 4 by 5 respectively. If one of them is selected at random to help their mother, find probability that dish is broken. So basically we need that dish is broken. So let D be represented as dish is broken. Now this, this can be done by 3 and the 3 are A, B, C, the sisters. So what we need, so the required probability is, we have two things, first is dish is broken and it can be done by 3, A, B or C. So required probability is, dish is broke from A or from B let's say or we write in English first then we will convert in mathematical terms or from C okay now how to convert this or will always be converted as plus sign okay now we have to convert this this and this so how to write this dish is broken from A so first write the probability of A and the dish is broken from A. So this means D over A dish is broken from A. So similarly probability of B into dish broken from B. Probability of C into dish broken from C. Now we need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So let's see how to find them. So the first point is we have to select A, B and C because probability of A means that so we have three sisters alright. So what does probability of A means? A means that we are selecting the first sister that is A sister from 3 alright. So it is 1 over 3 we are selecting A from 3 a b c similarly we are selecting b from 3 so 1 by 3 and similarly we are selecting c from 3 so 1 by 3 all right now d over a d over b and d over c are already given in the question you can see what does the question say the probability of breaking dish is 1 by 3 1 by 2 1, 4 by 5 respectively so respectively means that a b and c okay so p of d over a is given as 1 by 3 p of d over b is given as 1 by 2 p of d over c is given as 4 by 5 so now we have all this sixth all right just plug in the value and the answer is 49 by 90 so i hope it was easy the main part you have to remember is how to formulate this like the find probability that dish is broken so the required probability is dish is broken but then we have three conditions like it can be broken by A like A can break the dish or B can break the dish or C can break the dish so then we have to convert it in the mathematical terms then we have to find this 6 and just plug in the values and you will get this answer 49 by 90 so let's see some more interesting and important example so friends our second question is let's read that in MST CET exam there are MCQ questions having four choices where one is correct answer a student appears for exam either guesses knows or copies answer their probability are 1 by 3 1 by 4 1 by 5 respectively. Probability of getting answer correct on copying is 1 by 2. So what is the probability that the question is answered correctly? So what we need again? Question answered is correct. 
let this be represented as c c means question answered is correct now what are the ways possible that we can get correct answer <coughs> so that we can get correct answer first he can copy all right let p be represented as he can uh, let say p represent he can guess answer q represent he knows answer and r represent he copies so we have again to this and this this means that the question c means question answer is correct but there are three condition that p q r either he guesses either he knows or either he copies so the required probability is equal to first answer is correct all right when he guesses when guesses or question is answered correctly when he when he knows or when he copies okay now how can we convert this in mathematical terms so probability of p into probability of question answered correctly when he guesses all right similarly or is converted to plus probability of q q means probability of he knows and answer uh, question is answered correctly when he knows the answer plus probability of r into probability of c over r so this means probability of he copies into probability of question answered is correct when he copies the answer okay so again we need this four six terms 1 2 3 4 5 6 now let's check the question already we have this three and we have this one so what are this three a student appears for exam either knows cop uh, guesses knows or copies means probability of p q and r is given so we have this we have this we have this and this are so the first is 1 by 3 second is 1 by 4 and when he copies the probability given is 1 by 5 all right so we have this now we need 2 4 and 6 so let's check one more is given probability of getting answer correct on copying is 1 by 2 so on copying so where is that part r so c over r means question is answered correctly but when he copies so it is given as 1 by 2 in the question so basically we need to find this two now this two are the important part because this is not given in the question you can see that so here comes the logic so what is the logic what does q means that he knows all right so when he knows that the answer is this or let's say there are a b c and d option in the question and when he knows that answer is b so what is the probability that he will mark the correct answer one because he knows the answer all right so the probability here is one okay because he knows the answer now comes this part p means he guesses the answer so what is the probability that the question answered is correct when he guesses so again now i have a b c d option now i have to guess i can guess any of this so i i have to guess one because one is the correct answer so and i have option total 4 so what is the probability when he guesses 1 by 4 all right now plug in the values in this equation so the important part was this two and the answer is 13 by 60 so i hope you got this let's take and recap the question answered is correct now there are three condition p q r either he guesses and the answer is correct either he knows and the answer is correct or either he copies and answer is correct that what we write 
in this form then we have to convert this how we can convert probability of p into c over p which means that first what is the probability that he guesses that is given in the question 1 by 3 then what is the probability that the answer is correct when he guesses then we have used the logic and the answer is 1 by 4 similarly for others when he knows or when he copies then we have to add this and the answer is 13 by 16 so our third question is a bolt is manufactured by three machines a b c a turns out twice as many times as b and machine b and c produce equal number of items 2% of bolts produced by a and b are defective and 4% of bolts produ produced by c are defective probability that chosen one is defective so what we need is that the bolt we choose is defective so the solution is let d equal defective what is defective defective bolt now there are again three ways possible from a from b and from c from all of this we can get a defective bolt so again recall the previous logic required probability is probability of a into defective from a plus probability of b into defective from b plus probability of c into defective from c all right so all we need is the six terms again now the interesting part is the line written right here now why see the two percent of bolts produced by a and b are defective means what this terms so let's solve this first two percent of bolts produced by a and b are defective means we have a and b and it is two by hundred now what is four percent of bolts produced by c are defective so defective from c is four percent so four by hundred so we got this now we required is p of a p of b and p of c so what is the condition a is equal to twice as many times as b twice of b and b and c are equal so twice of c because when we equate this b and c are equal so this was from first condition and this is from second condition now how we can find p of a p of b and p of c from this so that is important see a is equal to twice of b that is equal to twice of c that is equal to k okay now we always know that probability of a b and c if we add we get equal to 1 so what will we do we will equate we'll use probability and we will add all of this so probability of a plus probability of b plus probability of c is equal to 1 which means what now if it is equated to k c twice of b is equal to k so what is b k by 2 so i hope you got when we talk about b it would be k by 2 so a will remain k but twice of b will become k by 2 because we want probability of b and we have probability of 2b so shift 2 to the right hand side so k by 2 plus k by 2 because b and c are equal that is equal to 1 so what is the answer k is equal to half from this we can get the required answer so p of a is equal to k that is equal to half but p of b is twice of uh, sorry is k by 2 times k uh, sorry what i'm saying p of b is equal to k by 2 and we have k is equal to half so plug in the value we get 1 by 4 similarly p of c is equal to k by 2 and we have k is equal to half then the answer is 1 by 4 so this is the answer 1 by 2 into 2 by 100 plus 1 by 4 into 2 by 100 plus 1 by 4 into 4 by 100 when we solve this we get answer 1 by 40 so what was important in this the important was this condition a is equal to 2b that is equal to 2c 
then we know when then we use this probability summation of probability is 1 we use this logic and we find k first first we find k and then we plug in the values like a is k then b is k by 2 and c is k by 2 after finding k we plug in the values and we get this answer 1 by 2 1 by 4 and 1 by 4 then we solve this and we get final answer as 1 by 40 तो फ्रेंड्स अगर आपको मेरी वीडियो पसंद आ रही हो देन टू लाइक दिस वीडियो शेयर विद योर फ्रेंड्स एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माय YouTube चैनल तो मिलते हैं अगली वीडियो में टिल देन टेक केयर दिस इज श्रेनिक जैन पीस आउट